in the energy quadrant, watching a morning reversal that took place in the June crude oil futures. Crude oil started the day lower, but came back to finish slightly positive. Today was the first day of trading day that crude oil had been below $80 a barrel. We're talking about the June WTI futures contract since April 11th. The low today, 79.91. It was down 1.14% from yesterday's settlement of 8083, but we turned around, got up to a high of 8149, which was up over eight tenths of 1%. And we finished the day almost up seven tenths of 1%, around 8138 and change. That number was fluctuating as I record. Now, China demand is part of the reason. Recent data from Chinese refineries implies that China's demand recovery coming out of COVID zero may finally be happening. Refinery throughputs which is what measures the amount of oil going through the refineries and coming out as a useful refined product, whether it's gasoline or distillates or jet fuel or something else, climbed to 14.9 million barrels per day in March, which is the highest level on record. Now, some of that is based on demand overseas that China exports to, but it also could be combined with the strong GDP number that we got late last night a sign that Chinese demand is finally recovering and it could put a base underneath crude oil over the very short term. Also, we get the EIA data tomorrow. Now, the data tomorrow has analysts expecting a large draw in crude stocks. About 2.46 million is expected to be pulled out, according to analysts. That's after a 600,000 uh, 600, barrel draw last week. I'm sorry, 600,000 barrel build last week. So if we get that sort of a draw, 2.46 million barrels, which is what is expected, you combine that with a strong refinery utilization number, that could also be bullish for crude oil. So it's not a prediction, but there could be some things lining up that put a little bit of legs under today's small midday rally that we got. The volume was okay, but we'll get the official volume numbers tomorrow. That's what's been going on in crude oil today.